You may have heard of the Gullah Geechee people. Jacksonville in particular has a large number of Gullah descendants. Today, artist Tatiana Kitchen, she paints a Geechee woman as Sandra Maureen with the Gullah Geechee Nation and Dr. Marlena Smalls, known as the voice of Gullah, teaches us all about this unique culture. Oh my good Lord. Who are you? Where do you come from? How do you know? Descendants of West and Central Africans, chained, enslaved, and forced to cultivate the lands of the lower Atlantic state. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. You, you too, too could, could be, be Gullah. Show me the way. Your people, Gullah Geechee, speaking with a tongue infused in Creole. Wrapped in grammatical roots from African and European languages. A unique culture with strong communal ties that still remain to this day. You can see it in the arts and crafts. Taste those ties in food. And feel it in the music. Oh my good Lord. Whoa. Jacksonville, Florida, home of the largest concentration of Gullah Geechee descendants. Lineage stretched through the villa, neighborhoods reaching Brooklyn and beyond. Paint blue lined ceilings, warding away spirits, but the danger of displacement remains. Longtime residents making way for gentrification. Heirs' property passed through generations. Identity rooted in the land. And carry me home. There's a Gullah saying which means what is hidden can be very important. Must take care of the root for the heal the tree. Simply means take, take care, care of the roots, roots in order to, to heal, heal the tree. Next Monday on Vivid Hughes Stories of Black History, we're going to share the story of Dory Miller, the son of Texas sharecroppers and the grandson of slaves, a mess attendant who emerged as a Pearl Harbor hero. We hope you'll join us.